genetically engineered flu virus mutate. And it's admittedly manufactured. So, and then on top of it, the flu vaccines they're trying to develop won't cover whatever it's mutated into in the future. So they're there's no reason. They're designed to initiate it, Alex. They're designed to initiate it. They're not covering, Stay there. They're not defending. They're not protecting. They're initiating. Ladies and gentlemen, this whole thing has been skillfully directed. The whole thing's been scripted and built and prepared over years. We know that this flu was manufactured. That's now admitted in the lab. Top virologists and epidemiologists are on record. You can just Google anything we're talking about and you'll see the mainstream news on it. Why if it just killed a few people in Mexico City and a few people in the U.S.? And regular flu kills tens of thousands every year in the U.S. Do they hype it? That was the primer as the pretext and the cover to move the troops in, move the FEMA Northcom system in. We told you Northcom was going to forcibly inoculate. That's now CNN. That's now Fox. They're openly saying martial law is good. Forced inoculations are good. Fox News saying, I was just at a Pentagon meeting. They're going to lock down the cities and have forced quarantines. And then... The feds are telling the locals everywhere, if one person gets a cold, they shut the school down. They act all scared. They indoctrinate the kids with fear right as the inoculation season comes in with public school and school starting. And I talked to one of my employees who had to go in, getting ready for the first days of school, and they were like, there's no such thing as a vaccine waiver form. She pulled it out, and they said, oh, okay, we'll accept that. But don't tell anybody about this, because they've been told, you lose your job if you don't get this stuff in their body. When the White House science chief wrote a government policy book on how to sterilize you through the vaccines. Now, this is real. We can see that it's staged in a hoax. The question is, how bad is it going to be? I got a bunch of points I want to go through with Steve Quayle of stevequayle.com. We're going to get into Holdren. We're going to take your calls next hour and a lot more. But uh, the phones aren't open yet. Steve, you've got a lot of intel, a lot of points to make about the history of this, the preparations, the troop deployments. Talk about the intel you've got and worst case scenario, if they think their trial balloon is successful as they test the public, as they test terrorizing the public right now, beating the drum, building up towards October to try to ram through their whole agenda while everybody's fearing for their lives under flu lockdown and the government poses as the savior, scripting things like a Hollywood script, casting themselves as the saviors, as, you know, Mighty Mouse coming to the rescue. What is the worst case scenario? What is it the globalists want to get out of this? If they think we're going to go along with it, what is your, because you're a guy talking about this in 95, writing books about it in 95, 96, laying out, exactly what was happening now, saying that the flu and other pathogens would be used because it makes everybody guilty and is the perfect cover for a political takeover. Well, absolutely. And first of all, Alex, I believe that it's multiple agendas, plural, okay? The bottom line is, is we're dealing with multiple strains, and some of the stuff is very real. You asked about the history of it. Remember when we had hoof and mouth disease released in Britain? Remember when we had the situation with Mad Cow? I was on the radio. I was doing hundreds of talk radio shows saying this is an intentional release. This didn't just happen. Uh, Dr. David Kelly, the head of British military of uh, Ministry of Defense's biological weapons program, he saw this coming. There is a book that's been written about all of his previous uh, research that's been uh, sort of held at bay by a British Q letter, meaning you can't publish it because they're claiming it's national security. I think if people want to watch what's going to come down in this country, watch what's going down in Britain, because now they're claiming 100,000 people a day are going to be infected. Listen, there are normal transmission routes and normal transmission vectors, the vector being that which carries the pathogen. The point is, is that you cannot get what they want to accomplish. The Illuminati wants the death of 5.5 billion people. We cannot lose track of that. They openly talk about it. They've openly stated it. You've quoted so many Rockefeller quotes. You've quoted so many New World Order elitist quotes. But that's what the end game is, okay? so it is. By the way, Holdren, Holdren is nicer. He doesn't say 90% like Pianca or um, Bill Gates or... 
Ted Turner. He only wants to kill 75% of us. Right. Well, quick and dirty, that's still close to, uh, you know, four, excuse me, 4.5 million. But isn't that nice of him? Well, sure. And see, this is, this is the disconnect, Alex, you know, uh, uh, by, by lethal injection. And here's what people have got to understand. And I don't think, I, I, I don't know how to communicate any more clearly than this. There are multiple strains of genetically altered viruses based on when you're stopped at a roadblock and you will be given your stainless steel band with your RFID chip. They're checking a data computer instantly. So let's say Alex Jones and Steve Gale get touched. I mean, listen, they want to shoot us more than vaccines, my brother, and by the grace of God, they will not succeed. But the point is, is that that's where the determination goes. Listen, it's no longer the blue pill, uh, the red pill, the blue pill. It's the red list, the blue list, the green list. And what we're talking about, Alex, is multiple, multiple strains of some of the most uh, uh, deadly viruses. Do you remember when I started talking, you and I started talking those days about the Spanish flu being uh, reanimated from the cadavers that were uh, dug up out And they now admit part of this has been engineered into it, and they now admit the Army is going to give us... Uh, wristbands and set up checkpoints and they're training for the militia to attack it. Well, yeah, and so, so, but let me share this. Nobody believed that. I mean, I was laughed at by publishers. I'm not going to woe is me thing. I'm just telling you. So I published my book, Breathe No Evil, is specifically at that point in history. But then following through, the Spanish flu became so important to me because I saw the most money that, and according to different people I've talked to, you know, here, here's the thing. The bottom line is the who can tell you the what. The what cannot tell you the who, okay? So it's not important who tells you. It's what they tell you. And if what they tell you consistently lines up, and that is they want the death of, you know, your quoted guy, 4.5 billion, everyone else we quoted 5.5 billion. How are they going to do that? Notice the global pandemic theme when they don't even have a, a, a epidemic in most countries. Notice the nature of the fear tactics. Notice how the press, you just ran through the litany. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it is mind control. It's neuro-linguistic programming. People say, well, if I don't buy, uh, if I don't buy their lie, how will I buy food? How will I feed my babies? Listen, a SWAT team took over a hospital.